Hi, Kids Church. Now, today I've got a historical document for you to look at. Are you ready? It's this. Beautifully lacy, isn't it? Hold on a second. See if you can recognise the people inside. Okay. So, here is the first picture. There's a picture of a wedding. Some very, very young people getting married. And then on the next page, you have the bride. And at the bottom, you have the bridesmaids. Now, the reason why I've got all of these photos of a wedding happening and of the person the vicar, whose name is Duncan, uh, doing the wedding thing. Is it's my wedding? Don't I look exactly the same as I do in that picture? Given that uh, Sarah Harsley thinks that I'm 75 and I got married when I was 22, there's clearly quite a lot of time between now and then. But our service... service our Bible story today focuses on these people. Now that is Pippa, Fiona and Kira, uh, and they were Ali's bridesmaids. And so when we're getting ready for the wedding, the bridesmaids were there to help the bride. They were there to, uh, to help her with her makeup, to help get her dressed, to keep her calm, and to go with her to the wedding so that she wasn't on her own, so that she wasn't um, oh, more stressed out and nervous than she otherwise might have been. And so bridesmaid, it was a real honour to be asked to be someone's bridesmaid. Uh, and I think it still is. But in Jesus' time, weddings were a bit different. In Jesus' time, uh, the bride would be waiting at her house, waiting with her bridesmaids for the groom to come. So the husband would be with his friends in a different place. And they'd be having their own party. And then at one point, they get up and they leave their house and they would all walk to the house of the bride's family. And they would knock on the door and they would ask to come in. And they would come in and the families would come together and the two would be married and it would be beautiful. Now, in this, in that way of doing weddings, the bridesmaid's job wasn't so much about supporting the bride. It was about lighting the way for the groom, for the husband, so that when he came, he could see the door and he was able to come inside. And so Jesus' story says you've got these 10 bridesmaids and, you know, they're waiting for the husband to come. He'll be coming soon. But actually five of them, they've just got some extra oil for their lamps, extra batteries for their torches. So whatever happens, that the, their lamps won't go out. But five of them, they've got enough. The husband, he'll come soon, it won't be a problem. They've got just enough. But for this wedding, the husband doesn't come soon. He takes a long time at his house before he comes. And so they all fall asleep. They nod off. And suddenly, the bridegroom's coming. He's, 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 he's almost here. And, and they need to have their lamps lit. And, but their lamps have burned down. They've run out of power. They've run out of oil. So for all of them, the lamps are out. Now for five of them, they can refill the lamp. And then there's oil for, to burn. And their lamps can be relit. For five of them, they've got no spare oil. As so they turn to the other five and say, you need to help us. Give us some of your oil. And the five who had the oil prepared said, we don't have enough. We've got enough to top up our own and get our own lamps lit. We, we can't do it for yours. And so the bridegroom comes and the, uh, the bridesmaids with their lamps lit say, here we are. Here's the door. In you come. And the bridesmaids who didn't light their lamps, they're left outside. They don't get to come in. They don't get to share the party. 
And it's, I've always felt sad that they missed out. But they missed out because they weren't ready. As the Jesus says to us, we don't know uh, when Jesus is going to come again. We don't know when that's going to happen, so we should be ready. And so there's this image of having a lamp, having a light that shines, and keeping it topped up with oil. And so the thing we're thinking about this week is, is what keeps us topped up? What helps us to shine our light for when Jesus comes again? What helps us to keep on being kind? being loving, being joyful, uh, whatever life is throwing at us. And of course, we talk at, at Kids Church about how we pray. And we pray together in our Zoom. And we talk about uh, reading the Bible, uh, whether it's with our parents or by ourselves. It's really important just to read those stories of Jesus so that we build up a picture in our mind of what he's like. So when we have hard times, we can think, what would Jesus do? And we know because we've spent time looking at the stories of what he did and what he said. And we've spent time talking to him as we pray. So have a think this week about how you can spend time topping up your lamp, coming close to Jesus and receiving the stuff you need to be able to shine your light. Each day, try and read a bit of your Bible. Try and spend some time talking to Jesus. And maybe on Tuesday at our Zoom, we'll chat a bit about uh, what helps us stay topped up. So I'm going to pray. Uh, and although not all of us see ourselves as bridesmaids, I think I'd look awful in that sort of turquoise dress. We're all called to be ready for when Jesus comes again. So let's pray. Jesus, thank you that you are coming again. And thank you that is something for us to be excited about. So would you help us to be ready? Would you help us to keep topping up our lights by reading more about you, by talking to you in our prayers, so that when you come, our lights would still be shining and we would be ready to share all that you are bringing. We ask your blessing upon us as we do this. Amen. Amen. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching Zoom at six o'clock on Tuesday. It'd be lovely to see you. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe uh, and know that God is with you. Bye-bye.